because he was righteous to his mother. Now some books of history mention a story, Allah knows how authentic it is, but it is mentioned in our classical sources. That Uwais al-Qarni used to take, he was the only son, there was, his father had passed away, so he's taking care of his mother uh, in a very dutiful manner. And he asks and begs permission to go to Medina to meet the Prophet ﷺ. So his mother grudgingly allows him to go, but she says, look, you know that I need you. Therefore, I only give you basically a day or two in Medina. As soon as you get there, you meet the Prophet and you come back. It is said that Uwais traveled from Yemen all the way to Medina. And when he got there, lo and behold, the Prophet was away on an expedition. He wasn't in Medina. So now he's stuck between two options. The first is to wait a week or two. He's traveled from Yemen. That's already a month's journey. The first is to wait a week or two. The Prophet wouldn't be gone for more than a week or two. And wait for the Prophet to return. And if he did, he would be raised in status from a tabi'i to a sahabi. If he did, his status would forever be raised eternally. And the second option was, listen to my mother. What did he choose to do? We can guess. He chose to obey his mother. To give up this voluntary status because being a sahabi is a privilege but it's not wajib. Listening to your mother is wajib. And so according to this riwayah, Uwais al-Qarni stayed a day or two as much as his mother had allowed him and then he rode his mount and he rode all the way back to Yemen. And he voluntarily, willingly gave up that status in order to please his mother. It is no surprise, therefore, that the Prophet ﷺ said what he said to Umar ibn Khattab. That when Uwais al-Qarni comes to you, ask him to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this is a man who used to treat his mother with righteousness, with bir. And subhanAllah, this really shows us we want our duas to be accepted let us treat our parents with that dignity and respect that we deserve. We want Allah to bless us. We want the Prophet ﷺ to know who we are. Uwais al-Qarni, they never met. Allah's wahi came down. Jibreel told him who Uwais al-Qarni was. How magnificent of a status was this man. That Jibreel comes down to inform our Prophet ﷺ of this human being. This beautiful human being. Who's only good that we know of. We don't know anything else about him. That's all we know whose only good that we know of was kana birran he was barran he was somebody who would treat his mother with that type